Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Prime Over, and today I'll show you how to make this infinity table in SolidWorks. Uh, I'll attach uh, its file in the description link for uh, practice. And uh, first of all, I'll model this in SolidWorks, and I'll show you through uh, my design tree and uh, through the sketch. And then we'll export this model in KeyShot for basic rendering. So let's start. Uh, so this is the structure of this uh, infinity table, and I have. Uh, model this in uh, uh, in a single file you can make uh, it in assembly as well uh, that is uh, this structure separate and this class separate and then uh, you can assemble it in uh, uh, SOLIDWORKS assembly mode uh, so let's uh, drag back to here and uh, now I can show you this 3d sketch so this is the basic 3d sketch and then uh, you can use uh, uh, SOLIDWORKS weldments uh, or you can make your custom uh, profile and then you can use uh, sweep command uh, so let's go to new and uh, 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 I will make this basic uh, uh, 3d sketch for you let's go to part select ok and now we are in SOLIDWORKS interface first of all I'll change my background to plain white and this time I will use IPS that is inch pound second and uh, now I'll not use this, these planes for sketches uh, I'll go to uh, sketch and I'll uh, uh, I'll use this 3D sketch. Okay, so uh, let's go to line tool and let's select this. Uh, th uh, this is my uh, origin, and uh, let's say I want to make this line uh, in this direction. But this is the X Y plane. I want uh, line in this uh, direction. So press Tab key, and it will change my plane uh, from this plane to this plane. That is Y Z. Okay, one line here. And again, I want a line in this direction. Uh, just cancel it. Uh, go to line tool again, and I will make a line uh, using press tab key uh, here. Okay, and uh, using press tab key again here, uh, here, and one line here. Okay, now I want a line in this direction. And uh, let's say if I can show you, uh, go to rotate. Uh, now I want a line in this direction, right? In this direction. So go to line tool again and uh, uh, you can see that this line is in this plane, right? Not in this plane. So uh, press tab key and uh, now I am in this, in this plane. Okay. Uh, uh, go to up and then uh, here and uh, uh, press tab key again here, here, here. Okay. Now I can uh, uh, adjust my geometry go to rotate and uh, just drag a little bit uh, drag this down and uh, okay right so uh, go to line tool again and uh, this time i'll make a sketch from here uh, using tab key one one line here one line here and one line here uh, press tab key again to change the plane one line here one line here and one line here lastly i'll make this line to this and uh, this is uh, not in this plane so uh, select this line and make make along x-axis so this is the basic uh, uh, 2d sketch of this uh, uh, of this uh, infinity table uh, structure and it is still uh, underdefined as you can see that these lines are in blue uh, you can adjust your model accordingly and you can make some suit, uh, suitable uh, uh, suitable dimensions you can drag this okay so uh, as you can see that uh, if i can go to uh, 3d sketch and go to edit sketch and you can uh, uh, you can see these uh, dimensions and uh, let's say if i can hide these uh, uh, these relations okay now you can uh, clearly see these uh, dimensions uh, this is 90 and uh, uh, this is also 90 and this is 80 and remember these uh, uh, these dimensions are in uh, in fact these dimensions are in millimeters you can uh, change uh, this these from ips to mmgs 
accordingly and uh, right so uh, this is the basic sketch uh, uh, i'm not going to uh, uh, dimension these like these you can make it uh, in your own uh, let's say this is also uh, 90 right you can uh, uh, you can drag these right accordingly so uh, uh, this was my basic sketch uh, right and uh, uh, next is uh, after making this basic sketch uh, remember it is fully defined sketch as i have uh, 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 i have fully defined it using uh, some constraints or uh, uh, dimensions okay after making this uh, 3d sketch uh, remember we have uh, 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 we have modeled this uh, structure using 3d sketch okay next is uh, i have used this uh, uh, if i can show you this uh, sketch and uh, basically this is the profile and the profile is if i can show you from uh, view normal uh, this is very simple uh, this is a very simple rectangle and uh, the rectangle is 7 by 7 millimeters and i have used uh, one uh, uh, millimeter uh, radius or fillet and then i have used uh, uh, sweep command and uh, let's say i'll make it again okay so this is the uh, sketch uh, in fact th this is the profile and this is the sketch right just clear it and uh, the profile is this right and the uh, uh, the path the path of this profile which uh, uh, this uh, profile must follow in order to complete a sweep command so this is the basic uh, sweep command right uh, you need a uh, profile and a path right so uh, this is a very easy command uh, solid sweep okay so after creating this uh, structure uh, uh, you can use uh, uh, weldments command as well and you can use this structural member and you can apply uh, each time and uh, but i have used this uh, sweep command right okay so uh, uh, now i can hide this uh, 3d sketch okay and i can hide this uh, okay uh, it is already hidden right lastly i have uh, uh, modeled a very simple command that is called extrude boss and uh, i will use this extrude boss as a, a class right so just drag back and uh, uh, you can see that this is uh, uh, this is a simple extrude boss and i'll show you its uh, 2d sketch go to edit sketch and uh, uh, so this is a very simple uh, uh, very simple rectangle 200 by 150 and i have uh, used uh, uh, 10 millimeter radius on its each corner and these are the grids you can hide these grids uh, in fact go to here and you can hide these grids from here right okay so uh, this is the basic uh, uh, infinity table uh, modeling in solidworks this is the shadow and uh, these are the appearances which you can apply from here right you can apply from here and here as well go to appearance and uh, you can apply appearances from here let's say i'll go to glass and uh, let's say i want uh, some different glass uh, go to gloss and let's say you can apply this glass as well to this whole body and you can apply some uh, let's say go to metal and uh, steel and you can apply uh, this to this uh, whole structure right so uh, this is the basic uh, 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 basic modeling of this infinity glass you can go to uh, this display manager and you can uh, remove this appearance and uh, uh, you can remove all appearances or you can uh, you can make your custom uh, now i'll export my geometry in uh, keyshot for some basic uh, uh, some basic rendering uh, okay let's uh, cancel this uh, don't save after creating this now i uh, i will export uh, this geometry to keyshot 9 for basic rendering and i'll use uh, 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 keyshot plugin go to keyshot 9 and send to keyshot 
Keyshot is a powerful rendering software and it will take some time uh, to uh, to export this model from uh, SolidWorks to uh, Keyshot and uh, this is uh, our model and uh, let's go to view and exit for your screen and uh, okay so uh, this is our model and uh, let's go to let's go to image and uh, resolution go to landscape and select this okay uh, let's go to uh, let's say let's go to here uh, first I'll apply uh, some material and uh, project okay uh, so first of all I'll apply some material on this uh, uh, structure so I'll go to metal uh, here is metal and uh, let's say I'll apply some uh, anodized uh, aluminum to here okay uh, you can apply some material okay uh, let's drag this to here right uh, after applying this material on this base uh, now I'll apply some material on this uh, glass right so I'll find uh, I'll search for uh, glass and uh, some textured glass let's make it uh, some uh, ridges gray okay and now I'll apply this to here right okay just cancel it so this is the basic uh, material which I have applied on this uh, uh, body on this uh, uh, infinity table let's go to environment go to background and uh, I need a plain uh, white background this is the shadow and uh, go to lighting you can uh, turn on these if you want and uh, go to uh, tumble and uh, you can make uh, your uh, infinity table uh, it just changing perspective view for a better rendering preview okay uh, you can apply some different backgrounds if you want but I think it's okay for this uh, rendering let's go to render and uh, let's go to render here and uh, you can change these settings if you want this is the uh, this is the name you can change this name if you want let's say I'll change it to infinity uh, table and this is the location uh, this is the save location you can change this save location if you want and uh, these are the options I'm using 512 samples and let's say I'll change it to 128 for uh, less rendering time and uh, go to output okay press render and now it is calculating rendering uh, these are the samples I have used uh, 128 samples for this rendering and uh, let's say uh, if you can increase these samples so it will be a, a better quality render but it will uh, but it will also increase time and load on your uh, uh, pc or laptop and the, uh, this is the percentage uh, that how much rendering is done so this is the uh, basic uh, tutorial of uh, how to make uh, infinite table in uh, solidworks and rendering in keyshot and uh, I hope you like it and you can learn some cool stuff from this channel and uh, it is calculating rendering so let's go to SOLIDWORKS and uh, you can save this model but I think uh, I have this so I will not save this just don't save it and cancel so rendering is uh, uh, 42% done 
and uh, okay uh, this is the animation let's say if uh, uh, if you upload some uh, uh, some animation from any 3d software like 3ds max or uh, fusion or uh, inventor or creo uh, you can upload this uh, animation uh, in the key shot and you can uh, render this animation as well this is the uh, image so it is calculating uh, uh, the rendering of the image and you can apply some different settings let's cancel it and uh, let's go to here so rendering is almost done and here is the time that how much time uh, this rendering is taken for uh, this model and uh, this is the size of this picture 1280 by 720 uh, so we are almost done with this rendering as you can see that uh, I hope uh, you like it uh, if you have uh, any questions any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list you can uh, ask in the comment section you uh, feel free to ask and uh, so this is the rendering of almost uh, three minutes two minutes 59 seconds of uh, with 128 samples click here and just cancel this so uh, uh, save render uh, to this location so we are done with this uh, tutorial i hope you like it if you have any questions any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list uh you you can ask uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting uh, videos uh, thank you